Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session, we will implement two functions in C++ to evaluate square root of integers. We will use only integer ar arithmetic and we will implement square root Newton. This is Newton method and using Newton method and we will also implement the square root bisection using bisection method. And if we can uh, evaluate uh, square root, if we can compute the square root of integers, then we can test perfect square. We can test perfect square. So this session continues from our previous video, from this video. Please download uh, source code clicking this link. Please note that in this session, I explained the theories behind bisection method and uh, Newton method. Also, I implemented the source code uh, in this session. When, da when download, when the sample, the previous source code is downloaded, please unzip it. Then rename it, rename it square integer square root rename the folder like this then copy it to your working folder i am using um i will be i will use gnu c++ compiler you can use microsoft uh compiler too i will i will use a standard c++ compiler so you can use any C++ compiler. So this is the folder. Here, select this, then add, name it, square, SQRT, CPP, name like this. And also open this file, the previous source code, here. First, we will include IO stream. This is the only function we include. Then INT main. Then we we will make function main first. Long long K x p i think this is good enough then std c out input an integer z d c in k okay while k greater than zero S SQRT Newton K okay evaluate uh, square root okay then STD C out Here, root k is x. Okay. Then here, uh x times x equals k then we print we print uh, perfect square else not perfect 
I would say yes, perfect scale. Yes, perfect scale. Okay. Then we copy this code again. Zero for exit. Return zero. Okay. Save it. Then I will create a function here. Template. Type name T. T S Q R T Newton T K Return K. We will compile first. Okay. Start your command line. Then here move to this folder. G plus uh, plus SQRT CPP out S EXE. Okay, it compiles. Okay, it works. Now we are implementing scale Newton's method first T X k over 2 uh, initially x is set to uh, half of k okay then tp previous previous Value, value, value. Then if k less than four, return one. Okay. Then here two. Please note that we are using this function, this function here. So first we say we store previous value to x store uh, x to p then Newton's method is something like this formula I explained in my previous video I explained the theory in this video. So x is computed something like this. x equals x minus fx f prime x. Okay. This is the formula for Newton's method. So we explained this in our previous session, in previous video. So we want to compute k equals x times x. Okay, what is k? So this is this is the problem. So then we can change it like this: x equals uh, x times x minus k okay so in this case f prime x equals 2x and it becomes x minus x times x minus k 
over 2x If we arrange this this equation then x becomes if we arrange the above equation then x becomes x times x plus k to x okay so we are using this equation. This is Newton's method. This is Newton's method. So here x equals x times x plus k over 2 times x. Okay. At this point, if p if p equals x, then we can return return x. Okay. X is the solution. Else if x plus one equals p, then we return x. Else if p plus 1 x, then we return p. p. Then here, y, true. Okay. So, We will put like this. Actually, this line will never executed, for example. So this is for prevent warning. To prevent warning. This line will never executed. So now let's run it. Save all. Control save. Uh, now we can compile it. Okay, let's try with 2. Okay, 2 is not perfect square. 2 is not perfect square. 3, 4. 4 is perfect square. It, four, square root of 4 is 2. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 9 is perfect square and in this website you you can get perfect square table this is perfect list of perfect square or perfect square here at this website we can put any number for example we will put this number okay copy paste 128 perfect square okay say 128 this number and we will try a few more okay its square root is 20, uh, 32 perfect square so we implemented we implemented the newton method newton method for square root now we are using implementing bisection method. Please open this is our previous code. Code from our previous uh, session. Here we will implement the same way. Template type name t t s q r t bisection t k. Here we will copy this part, this part of code.
here I copy it and we don't need this and it should be type T and we will declare two more variables T A B okay about these parameters about these parameters please watch my previous video please watch this video then you can understand then here instead of this it should be x times x minus k as I explained like this then we are solving here now it is we are doing integer arithmetic so we can change it like this else I will change it else else if fx uh, less than 0 then this I fixed like this at this point uh, if a B, it means we solved the problem, return A, else if A plus 1 equals, equals B, then we return A, we solved the problem. Please note that A is always less than B, okay, A is, A always increases, A always increases, B always decreases, so, a, 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 a is always less than or equal to B. Okay? When A and B are equal, we, we solve the problem. It's perfect scale. And otherwise, it is not perfect scale. It can be, it, it could be or it could not be. Okay? So this way, then here, you can modify it like this. Not zero. Okay? So this is also to suppress to this is also to suppress uh warning okay like this now save it i hope to understand this uh, algorithm please watch my previous video then we can change it to uh, bisection. Save. Now let's build it. Now we are testing the bisection method. Okay, it works perfect perfectly. Uh, Ten twenty-four or one thousand twenty-four. The, its square root is 32 its square root is 64 well, 25 square root of 25 is 5 and square root over 81 is uh, 9 and if we put numbers it computes perfectly okay it tests uh, square root and perfect scale perfectly to exit or we can put what uh, what examples here we can put any numbers for example we I will put this number copy then paste see 170 yes perfect scale 170 this this uh, this number this is perfect scale so this way we implemented to exit enter zero this way in this session we implemented perfect scale uh, uh, scale root of newton please note that we have not used 
we use only integer operation, integer arithmetic. Please note that we use we use only integer arithmetic. Okay. And and no mass functions. So lastly I will make one more function for square root. Finally I will make just one more function template type name bool is perfect square t Okay, then we can test like this, uh, t x equals, I will put uh, here, bool newton, okay, then newton, you can say like this, newton, if Newton is true, then we use square root as QRT Newton. Okay. Else, as QRT bisection. Okay. Okay. Then return x times x key okay. save it then here we can change like this instead of this we can say is perfect per perfect scale this is the same thing actually now save it for the last time build once again then as like 81 yes uh, 16 uh, 98 81 Yes, it works perfectly, okay? The reason I implemented all these routines in template function, function template, is that in next session, we will use MPIR or MPFR or GMP on Windows. Uh, these routines all in MPIR or GMP. You can download the complete source code in the descrip using the link in the description section. Thank you for watching.